a dreamer with a big imagination and how to tell it from handwriting. I'm Fiona McCallion and in this video I'm going to show you how to identify someone who is a dreamer from handwriting and how to identify someone who has a huge imagination from handwriting. And the two kind of overlap and exaggerate each other because if you have a vivid imagination and you're also a dreamer with all your thoughts up there in the sky, the imagination tends to be very unrealistic. So we have to have a balance between the two. And by identifying them through handwriting, you can decide what balance you want to create because you can change anything in your writing and change how it affects you. So coming right up, a dreamer with a huge imagination. A dreamer with a huge imagination. First off, we'll try you with a quiz question so you see what you know before I show you anything. So which of the writing below do you think is a dreamer with a huge imagination? There's three to choose from. You can pause the video if you like. The answers are coming up at the end of the video. First, we'll look at how to identify a dreamer. Like many things in handwriting, how it looks is also how it's described in general conversation. Look at the lowercase t's. Where are the T crossbars? If they're above the top of the rest of the T, then this is a dreamer. T bars represent your goals. So here we have goals up there in the clouds, just like you would talk about in English. Not all this writer's goals are just dreams since two of the T bars are touching the stem, but the three arrows are pointing to the three dreamer goals. Next, we'll have a look at having huge imagination. There are two types of imagination. There's abstract, which is coming up with ideas, and there's material or practical, which is making the ideas work. Firstly, coming up with ideas, abstract imagination. It shows in large upper loops on B, F, H, K, and L. And there they're on the H and the L. And there they're on an F and an H. The second type is material or practical imagination, which is taking an idea, whether it's your own or somebody else's, and making it work. It shows in large lower loops on F, G, Y and J. The P does not count, it has a rule all of its own. So F, G, Y and J. There it's on the G, F, and two Ys. And here we've got it on two Ys and an F, a large lower loop. So that's it for a dreamer with a huge imagination. Someone with their goals up in the clouds, which is T bars floating above the letter T, will dream dreams that are inflated by an over vivid imagination. Whenever large upper loops and lower loops appear in the same writing. Now the upper loops that I've shown you here are not really enormous, they're, they're large, but if it's really absolutely enormous, the more enormous it gets, the more exaggerated and unrealistic the imagination. So that's it for the dreamer with a huge imagination, practicalhandwritinganalysis.com, right on. Here's one last look at the quiz question which shows our dreamer with a huge imagination. You decide which it is. And the answers are coming up in just a few seconds. Want to find out more of what you can tell from handwriting? Here are some quick and entertaining books to help. Visit practicalhandwritinganalysis.com slash handwritinganalysisbooks. Here are some of the books you will find there. Fun, fast and informative. They're easy to read and easy to understand. Visit now and check them out. There's a link below in the description box. Answers to the quiz. Now this one 
has large upper loops on the H. There is also an upper loop on a T, but that doesn't count for this. And there's a pretty big loop on the G. So it has the imagination, but the T bars are low, so this is not a dreamer. So this one does not qualify. This one has the T bars floating in the sky, so this is definitely a dreamer. And the lower loops are large. So that's good, that's uh, material imagination. The abstract imagination is missing. The D doesn't count for this, the B has no loop, and the L has a very narrow loop. So there's not much abstract imagination. However, this is kind of a dreamer with a big imagination because they've got the high goals and they've got the uh, material imagination. It, however, is not the strongest, so I'm not counting that as the number one, but it, it's pretty good. The one that's best is this one. The T bars are both floating well in the sky, so a total dreamer. The H has a reasonable size loop. It's not huge, but it's a reasonable size loop, so good at coming up with ideas. And the Y has a pretty large loop, so that's good at making ideas work. So that analysis is the example that has the dreamer with the huge imagination. How did you do?